There's a place in the woods called Aspen Ridge, and this winter wonderland is where we call home. We are the Popple People. Welcome to our channel. Thanks for stopping by. Well, here's a sneak peek of what we've been working on here. Building sawdust doors into the back wall of the saw shack, but then we ended up getting a huge multi-day blizzard that put a wrench in our progress. So today we're headed back into the forest to see how the saw shack and our wood storage erection held up through the wet, heavy snowfall. If you're new here, welcome. Our last video featured part of what we've been cleaning up here in the Midwest. And in case you missed it, I'll leave the link in the description below. And if you've been following our journey, welcome back. This video is like Snowmageddon part two. Did the saw shack collapse? So because the saw shack is back in the woods, we had to snowshoe in just to get there. And given the amount of snow and the fact that a lot of brush and branches were bent over or broken off over the trail, this journey ended up taking a lot longer because we had to clear the trail as we went. It was gorgeous, but this wet, heavy snowfall definitely took its toll on the trees. We found countless broken branches that needed to be sawed off. We just want to take this opportunity to give a shout out to all of our subscribers. Thank you all so much. We really appreciate you. And if you're new here, we'd love to see you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss an episode. It was a little nerve wracking cresting Aspen Ridge. We didn't really know what we were hiking into. For all we knew, both the saw shack and the wood storage erection could have collapsed. But despite that heavy snow load, luckily everything was still standing. These pictures just don't even do it justice. There was a lot of snow on top of the saw shack. It was just a ton of weight. So we did come prepared to clean off the roofs back here. The snow that had already slid off the garage in a box that we used for wood storage was putting a ton of weight on the sides. Luckily, the extra reinforcements and furring strips that were installed when we revived this old garage in a box held up and they were able to withstand this snow load. We ended up bringing along a snow roof rake, but the snow was so heavy and compacted that it was just taking forever. So Tater ended up crawling up on the roof and shoveling the majority of it, and this went much faster. If you haven't done something like this before, hire a professional. This is dangerous, especially when it's icy and slippery. It's hairy enough being up on a dry roof, and it gets a lot trickier when you add in ice and snow to the mix. Also, I should note, this is hard work. He makes it look easy, but that packed snow is heavy, and there's a lot of surface area on a roof, even a small roof like on the saw shack. This is the kind of cleanup that literally kills people, whether it's from falling off the roof or having a heart attack from the strenuous physical labor. This is the kind of job that just might be worth paying a professional to do it for you. 
Just to kind of explain what's going on here, he left that last little bit of snow break toward the bottom edge as a barrier so that he didn't slide off the roof. It was very slippery on top of that metal roofing. Once he gets down off the roof here, that last little bit will be removed too. Ooh, finally finished. And we got a great workout in as well. On our way back out, the little Fraser firs on the other side of Aspen Ridge needed to be dug out also. Almost all of them were bent over and buried. Those poor little Charlie Brown trees. If you'd like to get a hold of us with questions or comments, please email us at thepopplepeople, all one word, at gmail.com, or flip-flop a comment below. We love hearing from you. Hopefully, now that we've got a trail broken and some of the snow cleared away back at the saw shack, we're hoping to get those sawdust doors installed soon. Little by little, the saw shack is coming together. Thank you so much for watching. We sure appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video and want to follow our journey, please consider subscribing. That way, you can be a Popple People too. We'll see you soon.